I'm sure a lot of you may or may not have heard of the term pay it forward before. You probably have. Basic crux of it is giving something, giving something out, that reciprocal energy that you're putting out there in the universe in, in giving and, and what will be returned to you, karma, any different which way you want to look at it. What I want to focus on today quickly is the true element instead of looking at, and look, there's nothing wrong with kindness and, and giving, and that's, that's great, but looking at the source instead of a symptom of what society may perceive as a gift or giving to someone. How about we give the greatest gift to all of those around us by giving to yourself properly first, not to the detriment, the world can burn, I'm focusing on me now, not to the detriment of that, but in a higher sense of yourself. Because when you pay it forward on yourself, what that means is what you're doing right now, so what little Al's doing right now for Big Al down the track, is I'm serving myself now so he can be nourished, I'm nurturing a future version of myself. I am stretching, expanding, and growing, okay, and manifesting a future version of Al that's gonna be able to do way more than Al right now is, which means he can do more for others. He can be more to others, and it's keeping it simple. Looking at this stuff and the elements and how they can attach and tie into your life, creating space. You create space for yourself, build that framework, fortify yourself from all the fluff in the world, then guess what? When you do that for yourself, you'll have better connections, a better nature, a better temperament. Whether you have kids or not, you've got to be short-tempered or have a short fuse or be triggered easily. You'll take initiatives and certain things when it comes to listening and communicating, which is our next one, with others around you. You'll have a whole better nature and being if you're creating space. So you're not only paying it forward on yourself, you are paying it forward on others through being a better you. Nourishment, fueling the body. I'm not talking about different diets or regimes here, but just eating well. Our body controls the mind way more than you think. Nourishing the body so that you can communicate, you can listen better and be calmer. And these, I mean, you can see how these can all overlap into each other. It's the same message here, guys. It's just utilizing different vessels in which you can communicate and express that within yourself to be greater for yourself down the track. And when you have these in place, movement, moving the body, that primal energy, having a stress release, leading, inspiring. When you utilize all of these, it's pretty clear and pretty obvious to understand that, guess what? We use the senses, the primary sense that we use is visual. Even if I wrote this down, you'd be reading it. You'd be using some form of visual and pulling context out of that that relates to your life. Now, when you look at this and how we translate it, moving, look at that guy over there. Look at him go. Like it's, geez, he looks fit. He's looking in great shape. Look at the energy about him. If I already, he's going to the gym or he's exercising or he's dropped away or he's got a real good nature about him, or he just seems really calm. Everything we perceive initially is absolutely visual. So when you look at this stuff, and this all encompasses all of this, you are a leader. Everyone's a leader in their own right, in some way, shape, or form. We've all got different gifts to give the world. But when you're doing it, and you're doing it the right way, and paying it forward on yourself first, you are leading, you are inspiring, you are drawing greatness out of others through the greatness within yourself that you have harbored, manifested, developed, and built and stretched into. Because life isn't about constricting or contracting, it's about expansion. And when you expand, you make adversity your ally. When you look at these things and you turn them around, you flick that switch, all of those hard times, the heartaches, the damaging moments, the periods of downfall, the hopelessness, you turn that around, you get on top. You dominate an aspect of life in adversity from which all other parts of life can express itself through you. And, and this is a phenomenal way to do it, to pay it forward on yourself first. Hope you enjoyed this, guys. If you ever need anything, please let me know. I'm always here for you.